Hey everybody, ampreparegar.com, 203-892-4119. So I'm waiting on parts, uh, 301 here. I already made another video on that. Just waiting on a couple parts to finish that up. So I have a Drake L4B. There's the power supply. Customer bought it and someone tried to assemble the Harbach kit. So there's a bunch of bad solder joints on it. So I'm gonna fix that. I already started on soldering everything. Purchased a replacement air variable for the plate tune side for this on a site online. Guy claimed it was in perfect condition, but it was in horrible condition. So sent that back. Um, I've worked on a lot of these, and I've only had one other that had a problem with the plate tune air variable. So I'll have to just take it apart and replace the plates. It was just easier to buy another one. I had come up. I had come across the one that was in so-called perfect condition but it was not so um, I'll just go ahead and rebuild the other one so uh, the the uh, RF deck portions getting the bias slash soft key kit from Harbach I will be assembling that so I'm going to take this all apart put the fix the board solder joints are right here and install it and I'll be back see you soon all right, so I got the bottom here of the L4B. I removed the chokes and capacitors. I drilled out the screw holes. One, two, three, one, two, and then I go to the wall over here. So I cut the straps, copper straps, punch the holes. This is getting that board from Harbach, and the air variable needs plates replaced, as I described before. So. Okay, I'm going to get to work installing those and I will be back. Okay, everything's done in the bottom. I'll show that after. One of the plate blocking caps is damaged. Center just spins, so I'll have to replace that. Now, some people have tried to solder them, but it's just not worth the risk. I don't do it, so I just replace it. So, here's the air variable for the plate tune side. You can see it damaged plate here and here. So I'm going to take it apart. The plate, so replace all the damaged plates. And put it back together. The vernier drive is also defective. When the air variable's in when it has a little bit of pressure on it, it doesn't turn, so I'll have to take that out and replace it. That's my cat in the background. <laughs> I'll add the meter protection diodes and uh, I'll go from there. So, hey, see you guys in a bit. Okay, so I'm back with the completed Drake L4B. I'm going to go over everything I did to it. Change the meter lamp bulbs, put in meter protection diodes, Clean the rotary switch up front here. Okay, so like I said before, I bought an air variable cap for the plate side replacement online. Guy claimed it was in perfect condition, but it was it had corrosion and there was some arc damage. So sent it back, ended up rebuilding the one that was in it. Let's see some of the bad plates. Took out two of these and then two of these. And uh, now it's good. So I also had to change the the vernier reduction drive. Now we put the other, the old one. It's around here somewhere. I'll show it in the next video. So put the new one in. Now it rotates as it should. This one was slightly different, so what I did was I drilled a hole in the pointer assembly and put a screw through into the vernier drive. So as you can see, she works as she should. Okay, replace the faulty plate blocking cap. I oiled the blower motor. It's always important if you ship one of these to put a piece of cardboard over the intake, I think I said that in one of the other videos, and tape it, because if that impeller gets damaged, you're in trouble. So it's got a brand new set of Pentalab tubes, 
clean the output rotary switch with deoxy gold and made sure the two screws were really tight that hold the plate tuner variable cap in. I put a cap nut on the other side of the screw below and they are super tight. So I'm going to go ahead and flip it over and I'll show you what I did to the bottom. Be right back. Okay, so there's the bottom. The grids have been grounded. Clean the input rotary switches over here. I changed that old style plug they had for the key line and put in RCA jack. The, that sticker's from before, it'll get removed. So, strap for 120. Customer wants it set for 120, so I set it for 120. It's got the hard box, soft start, soft key, bias board, all in one. So, installed that. It's all good. So check the SO239 connectors, they're good. Everything else is good. So I will put this aside and I will show you the power supply. Be right back. Okay, so I'm back with power supply. I installed the hardbox board. I had to touch up on all the solder joints. Remove those two resistors. Customer knows that now this supply will only work with this L4B. It has the bias mod done, so those resistors aren't needed. One of them was damaged. Uh, one had been replaced. The other one was damaged. So um, he told me that's fine. He said he only plans on using it with that. If he were to use it with another one, then the tubes won't go into cutoff. So uh, with the stock bias scheme, those resistors run super, super hot, and the whole supply runs hot because of that. So added a series glitch resistor, and Zip tied everything real nice underneath, nice and clean. So that's about it. So, if you need an amplifier repaired, please feel free to, free to give me a call. I have a lot of amps here. I'm so sorry for the people that are waiting, but uh, parts have been killing me. I am going as quick as I can. Uh, I have a 30L1 I'm just waiting on a couple mic caps for, and another one over there just. This was a lot of work. It needed a lot of stuff. So the air variable issue kind of threw me through uh, a loop here. Uh, and then the vernier thing. So, you know. so please give me a call if you need an app repaired. It's 203-892-4119 once again. And the website's ampreparguy.com. Please like, share, and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. 73. Almost forgot to show the bad vernier. I had intermittent problems. Sometimes the shaft would not turn on the air variable, so had to be replaced. Thanks for watching. 73.